Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. All right, everyone, so today I am going to be doing a cash unstuffing, and we are going to be unstuffing my Bills Binder, which is right here. So this Bills Binder I use all month long to stuff my bills. I break my bills into four pay periods, so four weeks out of the month, and I take the total amount of the bill and divide it by four, and I cash stuff that amount each week so that I know at the end of the month I have all of the money for all of the bills, and that's how I do it. Now, I am a month ahead on these bills, which is why I'm able to do it that way. So throughout the month of August, I was collecting all month long for September's bills, which will get paid on September. September 1st. So that is what we are unstuffing today. We'll also be unstuffing some sinking funds and any spending that I have done so far this month that was not in cash. So let's get started here with rent and rent should be $450. So let's give this account. We have one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So you have an extra dollar here and I'm just gonna take the extra dollar because that will go towards savings. Um, I always round up on my bills, which is why a couple of these envelopes have a few extra dollars. So again, we have 450, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 which is getting unstuffed today. So we will just place this over here in the cash tray. And let's see, I think I forgot a spot for 50s. So let me just scooch everything forward one. Perfect, so that is all set. So rent has been unstuffed and let's close this back up and that one is all set. I know I also mentioned that I would unstuff some completed savings challenges, but I'm gonna save that for um, another video. So we're just gonna do bills and sinking funds today. So let's keep going. The next one here is Kia. And this is for our car payment, which we were able to refinance down. And I do round up on this as well. So this should be $600. So 1, 2, 53, 54, 50, five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. Yes, so $600 is correct. One, two, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600 dollars. Perfect. So that one is all set. And I'm gonna close this so it doesn't throw me off. Alrighty, so the next one is my AT&T bill. And this month I had a challenge going where I was trying to get one month ahead on this bill because this bill was not technically one month ahead. What I do with any bills that are subscriptions or auto withdrawing, auto renewing bills, I had stuck them onto a credit card that had a zero balance. So all month long that credit card got hit and then at the end of the month when I pull all this money, I pay that right back down to zero. And I had initially had my AT&T bill pulling from that credit card with these subscriptions and auto renewing bills, but they told me I couldn't get a $10 discount if I didn't have it pulling from a checking account. So I said, I want my $10. So I'm going to get truly a month ahead on this bill so that this money can sit in the checking account so that each month it can auto withdraw from that checking account. So in AT&T, we should have $160 for the bill and then $180 from the challenge, the month ahead challenge, which I did round it up just because sometimes the bill is 160 exactly and sometimes it's like a little bit more um, and I didn't want any surprises. So for this one, for AT&T, we, we should have at least 340. So let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 30, 35, 40. Perfect, so we have 340 exactly, which means we are now a month ahead on this bill and that is all set to auto withdraw from the account. 
Okay, so this envelope is all set. And the next one is Progressive. And for Progressive, I do not unstuff this one. So Progressive should have $80, 20, 40, 60, $80. And that is going to stay for six months. And when my next policy, um, or when the next payment on my policy is ready, we will pull this envelope and I will pay the bill for six months. So that one stays. The next one is storage. This is for a storage unit that we have. We had to downsize and so we are currently saving up to buy another home. But while we are living in a small apartment and saving, we have a lot of our furniture and items in storage. So this is $125 a month. So we should have 100 and at least 125, but this one usually has a little extra. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, so we have an extra $3, which I'm going to take the extra three dollars and that is going to go towards savings challenges as well i was just trying to find some nicer bills so we put the three dollars over here so we should have 125 20 40 60 80 90 1 10 20 1 2 3 4 5 yes because those ones stuck together so 125 for storage going over here in the cash tray and that one is all set. So now I'm gonna take this money. Um, it's an extra one, two, three, four dollars. I'm just gonna flip to the back here and I'm gonna just stick it in my savings challenge envelope so that when I'm ready to play savings challenges next, I can just pull those extra few dollars and play some savings challenges. All right, perfect. So let's get back to where we were. So the next one is subscriptions. So let's take a look at this. And this again is for subscriptions and auto withdrawing bills. So in this one, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 25, 30, 5, 40. So we have $140, which is great. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20. 25 30 35 40 so 140 for subscriptions and auto withdraws which is great all right so then the next one is credit cards and this is the minimum payment for my last credit card which is 120 dollars a month for the minimum payment and all the minimums for the other cards that have already been paid off has been rolled into a debt snowball which is in the debt envelope so this will go towards that last credit card this month, and this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 120 dollars, which is great. So there is that. Alrighty, so then the next envelope is my debt envelope. And this one here, you can see it has a tracker on the front. So I'm not gonna pull that out because we've already filled that in with this money and also the money that I'm paying um, that's still in the bank. So any transfers that I do onto the credit card, I will track on this tracker. So in the debt envelope, we should have $300, which is the debt snowball going towards the next credit card. So we have 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300 dollars, which is correct. So we will pop this over here into the cash tray. And that one is all set. So debt has been unstuffed. And then the last one is just those couple of dollars that I pop back here for the savings challenges. So everything else here is staying and this is just a manifestation bill for that debt. So that is all set for the bills binder. Let's grab out the sinking funds binder and we can see what needs to be unstuffed here. So the first one is coffee. I did place my Nespresso order, but I had a mini unstuffing this month. So I already pulled the money that I needed for that. So this $20 can stay. The next one is travel and we have not done any travel yet. So this does not need to be unstuffed. Household is continuing to build. We don't need to unstuff anything here. We had done a little unstuffing in this already in the month. So this one is all set. 
car maintenance is all set as well. We had done an unstuffing when I needed to buy that battery charger thing, which didn't work. So, I mean, maybe I can return it and get my money back, but I'm not sure about that. Um, so that one is all set. But then this envelope here is my wife's envelope. And I'm actually going to pull this envelope out of here. Let me show you what I'm going to do with it. And I will give it a count. And I'm going to place this envelope in this bills binder because my wife is getting braces. And so I want to make sure that I start to get a month ahead on the payment that will be a monthly payment for the braces. So let's put that right at the back here. We'll do the debt and then we will do my wife's envelope right after. So she's getting braces. Um, she's really excited about it. And I have a tracker going to, uh, or a savings challenge going to come up with money for the down payment. But this money will stay in this envelope for the monthly payment. So 20, 40, 60, $70. So she now has $70 in this envelope that is going towards getting a month ahead for once she does get those braces on. So we will leave that right there and that will become a bill and that is the envelope that i am going to use which means the envelope that says my name now needs to be for the both of us so any spending that we both do will come out of this envelope but um i did some spending this month so this money needs to come out so 20 40 60 80 90 dollars so i did make some purchases on etsy i didn't make 90 dollars worth but that's okay i'm going to take this money anyways 20 40 60 80 90 because we had my son's birthday party this month and so we did get a few extra gifts and things that we weren't expecting and so that the rest of that money is going to go towards paying that back and then I will also take money from my son's envelope because 20 40 60 80 because again we ended up getting him another gift that we weren't expecting it was a big gift and he was so so happy with it we had gotten him just a few little gifts and then paid for like decorations and the party and stuff but at the very last minute my wife said she really wanted to get him a big gift so we got him one of those drivable cars which is what we wanted to get him initially so we just went ahead and bought that for him and he was so extremely happy when he saw that so i know it was completely worth it like i'm pulling money from my envelope and his envelope because the smile on his face i mean he absolutely loves it so worth it so 20 40 60 uh 70 is getting pulled to go towards that and like i said he is two he turned two this month so it was like the perfect age for him to like drive it and like he can actually like use the pedal now he's like big enough to be able to drive it so it was just really awesome i think it was great timing so he was really happy with that so then the next one that i need to unstuff is medical so unfortunately we were sick all month long i don't know if you can still hear it in my voice but um i still feel like i'm not quite right from the double ear infection that we had so 20 40 50 dollars is getting pulled from medical because we went and we purchased cold medicine tylenol ibuprofen nyquil dayquil like everything possible under the sun i purchased this month to try to feel better and so that envelope definitely needs to get unstuffed and the last envelope here is pets. And I know I said I didn't need to unstuff pets, but I actually made a purchase for my dog. So this will get unstuffed as well. So 20 30 $40 is getting unstuffed because she got a brand new harness, 30 40 
and it is so cute it is like teal green so she's a corgi and she has had like this pink harness forever since she was like little but she's full size now and that thing did not fit her anymore like she needed a new harness for a while and i held out on that but we finally got her a nice new harness and she looks so good in it maybe i'll pop in a picture so you guys can see and she looks super cute so we are all set with unstuffing sinking funds for this month so next we need to count up this money all right so let's pull all this money and give it a count and we will see how much money is going back to the bank this month so what i usually do is try to just count it straight through um and not use a calculator so let's give it a try and see how it goes so we have one two three four five fifty six fifty seven fifty eight fifty nine so 900, I'm setting this aside. So 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, because I grabbed two of them. So that's $1,500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2,000. So that's $2,000 and we have 2,050. 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 2,325. Now I am going to count it again, but I believe I got it right. So let me just fly through this again really quickly and see if I still come up with 2,395. So let's fly through this one more time and see if we get the 2,325 that we counted up first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, so 920, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2000. So that brings us to 2000 right there. So we've got 2000, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, and 300. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 2,325 dollars is correct. And that is how much money is going back to the bank. I just want to put this 50 in the place that it rightfully belongs. Perfect. So right there. Alrighty, so we've got our $2,325 and we are putting it in the back to bank bag. Perfect. And it fits. So that is going to be it. We've got this money going back to the bank to pay bills on the first of the month. Very exciting. And that's going to be it for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.